Hello my friends and welcome back. I'm Dieter and this is Papa's Bar. I appreciate you turning in. Uh, today is Sunday and I thought I'm going to do something special I haven't done before. I'm going to review a uh, so-called whiskey but in my opinion it's a liquor and it is Southern Comfort. Uh, I never drank this stuff but uh, in my lifetime in back in Germany I worked in a lot of bars, nightclubs and discos and a lot of people came and ordered Southern Comfort with ginger ale, Southern Comfort ginger ale, mostly guys, you know, normally guys don't drink sweet stuff because it's supposed to be very sweet. So I thought, well, I did all this hard stuff. I'm going to do a mellow review today about a sweet drink called Southern Comfort, also known as Soko. All right, my friends, uh, that original, originated in 1874, a bartender came up with the mixture. He had some low-end whiskey and he mixed with some fruits and spices. <coughs> Sorry, <coughs> still got a cold. With some fruit and spices and juices and then eventually the formula uh, originated what we got now. As far as I know, there are three different kinds of Southern Comfort. Uh, the original version, the black version, and a 100 proof version. So this is the original version and the proof on this one I think is 35% yeah 35% alcohol 70 proof. Uh, it says natural color it's a light amber color it's not syrup sick so I'm excited to do that I want to see <laughs> what we're gonna get out of that my friends. Okay Let's don't mess around here today. It's Sunday liquor, liqueur. <laughs> All right, let's go, go straight to it, my friends. I'm not a fan of sweet drinks. I drink single malt whiskeys, my favorite, or I drink uh, Polish and Russian vodka. <coughs> Those are my things and beer once in a while. I don't drink sweet stuff because you will get a headache the next day with uh, drinks where there's a lot of sugar in. That's why you get your hangover from the sugar. So be careful about that. Okay, my, oh, whoo, I smell it already. <laughs> wow. Very, oh, brown sugar, molasses, more sugar, vanilla cream, vanilla pudding, and some fruits, but that's about it. I don't smell much whiskey. Not at all. The, the, the sugary stuff, the sweet stuff is overpowering. You definitely should uh, mix that with something. Uh, if I guarantee you that, that, that that stuff is so sweet. If you get drunk on that stuff, you're going to wake up in a desert somewhere in your underwear. <laughs> I guarantee you that. <laughs> it's, that's some dangerous stuff. This deceptive. It smells good. It doesn't smell bad. But I'm not a sweet, no, I wanted to say sweet guy. I, I'm not a guy who likes sweet drinks. So it's just not bad to smell, but I wouldn't drink that on a regular basis. Dangerous stuff. I, can, I know that. That's going to be some dangerous stuff. Okay, my friends. This one is for you. First of all, uh, I appreciate you turning in. Thank you for the new subscription. If you haven't subscribed to my video yet, please subscribe to my video. Tell your friends about the channel. And once you watch the video, don't forget to like the video. It's very important. All right, my friends. This guy, guys, this is for you. I sacrifice myself once again on this channel. <laughs> Cheers. Oh shit. Ah. Mm. Ah. Ah, okay. If you guys know what Robotussin is, it's a cough syrup. 
This is how it tastes. It's another deceptive drink. I'm really close to take the bottle and throw it out the window. It smells very sweet, non-offensive, deceptive. And then you drink that stuff. Now I got like melted rubber in my mouth, plastic. Oh no, that's, uh, man. I, I definitely think this is something you need to mix. You cannot sit there and zip that stuff. This is pretty bad. See, the color change too is a lot lighter color now. Ah, there is so much sugar in there. They're gonna give you ulcers. Oh man, no, that's, that's not for me. As you can see, I drink whiskeys. I like whiskeys. I like vodkas. And I like cognacs too, but this stuff, you gotta be down on your luck. And you gotta be hopeless in your life to drink this stuff. It, uh, wow. No, that's, it comes from New Orleans, it says. Well, New Orleans is different here in America. A different kind of people. Maybe they like it down there. Uh, I do not know what what is what Southern Comfort comes from, but what, what, what that means, Southern Comfort. That is not comforting. That gives you a bad, bad taste in your mouth. No, oh. well, luckily I only paid $10 for that bottle and I don't lose much. I could imagine it, it, it could be a girly drink for girls, you know. Oh, give me that with a little Sprite in there. You know, but not for a man. This is not a man's drink. It, it's way too sweet, too sugary. You don't taste no whiskey. Who knows what kind of whiskey is in there. So on a scale of one to 10, my friends, I give it a two, that's it. With 10 being the best, this is a two. Uh, it's a mixer, straightforward. It's not a zipper. I, I cannot imagine anyone drinking this stuff straight or on the rocks. Uh, you, you gotta be, if you do that. I, 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 don't, I would not understand that. Cough syrup, Robotussin, whiskey flavor with a lot of sugar. That, that's what it is. So I, lately I don't have luck. There's a second bottle now I'm reviewing, the Southern Comfort, and then I reviewed something else the other day, which really disappointed me after reviewing almost a hundred bottles so far since I got this channel. Uh, so far I had two or three uh, beverages, alcoholic beverages, that, that was for me a disappointment. There may be someone out there who absolutely loves this stuff, you know? Just like me, I love my vodka, you know? And I drink it straight. <coughs> I don't mix my vodkas. <coughs> so there are a lot of people who like vodkas and then there are people who do not like vodka and would never drink vodka straight or people who would never drink a beer, you know? I drink beer, you know? Second to none, like that. Other people hate beer, you know? <coughs> but this stuff here, I think the majority of people would not like to drink it straight. Mixing, yeah. I may once in a while, oh no, no, once in a while, in in a, in the future, when I have a little come together here, I'm gonna try it out. I mix it with ginger ale, you know. But not today. I mean, it's not my thing. Okay, my friends. I hope you enjoyed the review. I'm sorry to disappoint you. It it's this stuff is not good. <laughs> uh, I hope I see you next time. Until then. Thank you, my friends, for tuning in. Bye-bye. I'll be back.